Okay, I am going to show you how to make your first blueprint uh, mod. Um, so the first thing you want to do is install Unreal Engine 4.27, that's the current version the game is being built on. Uh, you can do this from the Epic Games store, um, and yeah, it just has a whole Unreal Engine tab, it's pretty easy to find. So first you want to make your project, go to Games, Blank, Blueprint, No Starter Content. And this is very important, it needs to be called CubeVR. Uh, the reason this is, is because when we get into referencing assets, which is a more advanced blueprint modding technique, although you will find yourself using it a lot uh, soon, um, when you're referencing assets, the game project has to be exactly the same as the original, and the original is called CubeVR with a lowercase c. So just get into the habit of doing that. Uh, it's very important. So we're going to load up the editor. And first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to project settings packaging use pack file on generate chunks on we also uh, yeah, make sure these to run um, go to editor settings and allow chunk ID assignments make sure that's on so now we want to make our actual mod. So first we want to make the mod called tutorial mod. Um, this is very important, the name of this folder, because this will be the name of your actual mod. Um, and you'll see why in a, in a bit. So inside here, first we want to make a blueprint actor. And this has to be called init main menu. Um, now the reason it has to be called init main menu is because, well, in the game, there's two levels. There's the main menu level, and there's the actual world. So your mod can be loaded in by by basically two um, two levels. And when when your mod is loaded by the game, um, it basically checks for two different um, blueprint actors. First one called init main menu, and the second one is called init world. Um, so this means that you know if you have a more complicated mod where you know you might have your own main menu stuff you can load it in the main menu and then whatever based on whatever they they select or whatever in the main menu they can the user can uh, the mod loads the, the settings or whatever in, in the in the world mod but for now I'm just gonna um, make a separate blueprint actor like this and I'm just gonna spawn it in both the main menu and the world so what I'm going to do is save all, and I'm going to spawn actor from class, and it's going to be called a mod underscore tutorial. Make transform, way spawn ignore collisions, hidden in game, can be damaged off. And we'll do the exact same, oh, actually, first, save and compile always, so compile and save at the same time. Then do the same in init world. Right, so now in both init world and init main menu, we're spawning this mod. So, um, yeah, we're just going to delete this. So what I'm going to do in this mod is I'm going to basically like smoothly change the rotation of the the player. Um, so the way this is going to work is first I'm going to make a variable called rotation, and this will be a rotator type. And I'm going to set timer by event. And this will fire every second, this will be a looping timer. Um, the event will be add custom event, new rotation. And I'm going to, every time this fires, I'm going to set the rotation. And I'm going to make a rotator. So just be a bit, just be completely random. So random flow between 0 and 1. Bit of a mess, but we're good for now. So now every tick, 
I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add to the board rotation uh, that isn't correct hang on a minute oh yes that's right it is uh, add actor board rotation this one and we're going to make it the get player pawn. Index 0 is your player, client is the local one. And we're going to get the rotation. So, yeah, this will happen every tick. So, that looks good to me. So, now what I'm going to do is obviously compile it. And I am going to now package the mod. So, select all the assets inside of your mod and right click hit asset actions assign to chunk now the chunk id can be anything um between it can be anything except zero um so i'm going to do 42 because funny 42 number uh save all package project windows 64 bit and i'm just going to go to here stack this folder So packaging doesn't take very long at all. Uh, first time you do it, again, it might take a bit, but after that, it won't, uh, won't take very long at all. Okay, so now um, I'm going to switch to this monitor. So um, we find our pack trunk here. And if you go to your Steam install, QBR, QBR, uh, mods, V4 mods, you now want to make a folder called the same name as your mod folder in the editor. So I called mine tutorial mod. And um, also at the end, this also has to happen, otherwise it will get loaded. You prefix, you uh, postfix it with underscore underscore V1. Um, the V1 is just to mark that it's a Unreal Engine 4.27 mod. Um, this is for future co compatibility when the game updates to Unreal 5 or whatever. Um, this will change to underscore underscore v2 or something like that. But you don't have to worry about it for now. So just drag it in your pack chunk. Doesn't matter what it's uh, what it's called. Um, and then we load up the game. Oh, and I forgot to remove that again. Just ignore that console window. That's some other tool. Yeah, so now you can see we're kind of going round and round and we're randomly changing direction every second. Nice and simple stuff. Uh, also, the reason it looks like this is because um, I do not have VR and there is a launch option for the game that allows you to uh, load up the game, just, you know, like get to the main menu without being in Steam VR. Um, and I'll put the launch option in the description. Um, and one th more thing to add at the end here is if you want to add static meshes to your mod, which is probably something you're going to want to do at some point, or like a, like a 3D widget or something, um, your game will crash if you don't change any settings. So if you go to project settings and then share, Make sure share material shader code is off and also instance stereo is on. Now when you restart, um, it will recompile all your shaders and this will probably take like half an hour or something. Um, so make sure you've got something to do during then. And yeah, that should be your first mod. Um, another quick sort of like test that your mod is working is, oh, that's the wrong one. Set time global time dilation set to like five so what this does is it simply changes the speed of the game to five times it's quite funny really um but yeah that's uh that's your first mod and uh i guess um have fun with it really